So let's fly over the Ekuhurleni TVET College campuses, one of the best TVETs in the country. And to kind of start the story about why it's so good, let's start off with the OR Tambo Airport, basically Africa's busiest airport, but also a huge space of economic potential. So what you have here is you have one of South Africa's five industrial development zones. The idea is, is that you produce high value, low mass exports over here and you use all sorts of tax incentives and employment incentives to ensure that people are working here and using that airport to export stuff out. But you can already see that there's huge industrial and manufacturing depth in this area and also with a long history of mining. In fact, some of the world's richest mines were over here in the 20th century. And the beautiful dams you can see were initially conceived to provide water for the mining communities which were setting themselves up in the area. And classically in South Africa, these were divided and fought over in terms of race and class-based issue. So Benoni, where we are now, kind of established and declared in 1906, forced to be white. And all our black people and our supposedly called colored people and Indian people were forced to move away from this area. Now this Benoni campus, which is now for everyone, and Benoni is a fantastically mixed area now, thank heavens, is a business studies campus where you can do human resources management and marketing management and financial management. It's also got an artisanal development program in engineering, electrical engineering and mechanical engineering. What that basically means is you can do courses over there where you combine work experience and strong skills development with your qualification. And then finally, it's got a very good open learning center and lots of simulation rooms where you can actually practice the things which you need to do. Now I want to radically pull out of the historically white Benoni with its beautiful green trees, wonderful dams, beautiful road infrastructure and travel through to Africa's workshop. Because as mining started to fade and struggle in the 1950s, 60s and 70s, so this area became Africa's workshop. Huge engineering foundries were formed over here which has meant this area has had a continual history of firstly demand for labor for mining and then demand for labor for manufacturing and then demand for labor for engineering, creating real interest in South Africa to get you to find work. And given the apartheid nature of South Africa, what happened was our black people were forced out into this area called Daviton. And you can immediately notice that it's set completely separate from Benoni itself set up in the 1950s to get all our black people staying in the supposedly called black spots, which were really mixed race areas and forcing them to relocate over here. So it's particularly fitting in some ways that the Daviton campus is such a good campus. It is the center of excellence for engineering and it's got really good workshops where you can do mechanical and electrical engineering. Now we're going to pull out over Daviton and I just want to get a sense of how the different campuses of Ekuleni East are set up. So on your far right you've still got Benoni, then in the middle you've got Brakpan and on your left you've got Springs. Now it's really around Benoni and Springs that you have development happening as well as Boxburg. Brakpan is really just a small little town caught between these huge sites of development. At one stage a while ago, it was quite wealthy. So for example, that mine we've just flown over was as big as the pyramids. But now really it's just got a small campus in the CBD and Brakpan as a whole is really struggling. And there you can do business programs. You can become a management assistant. You can do marketing and you can do financial management. So let's lift out of Brakpan and travel towards Springs. <laughs> so named for all the springs that were actually in the area. But in the 1960s, it was producing 10% of the gold in South Africa and 9% of the uranium. So a hugely wealthy area for a while. It's still now got massive manufacturing and engineering sites and also mining is getting going again. But I want to fly over Painville on the one side and Bakerton just behind you because Painville was the black spot where people were forced to relocate into the townships and we'll see that township just now. Now we're in the Springs campus itself and you can see it's actually a wonderful campus. 
It's got a very strong information and communications technology section. And on top of that, a really good travel and tourism where you can also do hospitality. And then you also can do business studies over here, things like marketing and financial management. So it's got a huge array of subjects in that zone. Now we're going to pull out over the historically white areas of Springs with all its golf courses and beautiful developments and trees. And stretching out on your left, you can see the new era industrial park where you have some huge industrial developments, which actually Ekuleni East takes massive advantage of. And right nearby is their pride of place artisan and skills development center. Now it's got modern accredited workshops. You can do civil and construction trades over here with the emphasis being on hooking up with the companies in the area and getting the college and the businesses to work together with the students to make sure that they not only get skills, but also jobs. And this is across electrician work, plumbing, building, plastering, carpentry, roofing, painting, furniture making, and all sorts of occupational qualifications. So a brilliant endeavor over there. Now, just like Benoni has Davyton, so as you pull out of Springs, you'll see a huge township spreading off on the one side. You've got Quatema, which is slightly closer to town. And then as the need for black labor expanded, so you've got Sakane stretching further and further out with Dacha Fontaine on your right, literally Dacha Fontaine, which has actually got a new mine starting up. It's been there for about 10 years now. And it's in Quatema that you can find the only National Foundry Training Center. Now, foundry is where you basically melt metal, pour the liquid metal into a mold and you create casts. It also has a state-of-the-art call center training facilities. So the college has cultivated partnerships with local manufacturing companies and businesses, things like paper factories, the foundries, and Samsung, which enable artisan students to receive training in the process plant operations, that's with SAPI, and then you've got the melting, molding, and pattern making, that's with the foundries, and then you've got refrigeration, ventilation, and air conditioning as well. So it's an absolutely brilliant center. So let's do a slow pull out so we can get a final sense of Ekuleni East College, this amazing college, which is really in one of the biggest and richest and most industrial areas of South Africa. And I understand it to be caught on the one side between Benoni, which you can see on the top, and Springs, which you can see underneath, with kind of Brackpan in the middle as a small campus. And then with the huge Davyton Township stretching out on the one side, and then Quatema and Sakane on the other side, with Ekuleni East holding all of this together and making sure that our students get the requisite skills to go forward into the future.